Friday, Friday afternoon. Just woken up. Today is actually the last day I'm staying here at this house. Um, my my mate Maisie, who's actually so nicely left me a little goodbye note, which is probably the nicest thing that's ever happened to me recently. left a goodbye note. Her grandparents are coming back tomorrow so it's time for me to leave. I'm gonna go stay with my mum over in Littleton for the next couple of nights and then Monday morning we're heading back to Alice. So yesterday you would have seen the food that I bought. Fucking hell. I don't know if that was a good, a good idea or a bad idea because well basically these are pretty much gone. This shit, I, ha I had to hold like that, so I wouldn't eat it. We've got chocolate mousse. Last but not least, probably my favorite snack that I got, which was these things, snack logs. So, with all those three combined, I don't know how many thousands of calories it was, but it was quite a few and I ate them all. So what do you do? Obviously not ideal, not ideal, but basically I'm just gonna go with it like I have this entire holiday. I'll tell you right now, it, after the first two days, I haven't counted one single macro, one single calorie. The two things that I've been keeping in the back of my mind are protein and just trying to limit the amount of this sort of shit food that I've been having. So it's been working pretty well, but basically, not only did I buy all this shit yesterday, I bought heaps of meat as well, and some rice and things like that. So I've got some containers here. So I've got these two. I'm gonna make up meal prep for the next two or three days until I head back to Alice, which is not gonna be hard because I got heaps of food. Probably the thing I've been looking forward to the most is this. So this is the first thing I'm going to cook. So <laughs> what have we got? 700 780 grams of New Zealand boneless salmon. So I'm going to whip the skin off and then cook that. We've got chicken tenderloins, chicken breasts, which is probably way too much. And I've got two fried rice things, which I'll cook up as well. Heaps of other food too, but, oh, hang on. Yeah, ripped into the chips last night too. So anyway, I'm actually so glad I've spent 10 hours in bed. Hopefully most of that shit food is out of my system and I can just crack on with the day feeling, feeling good. I will be doing some cardio, I will be hitting some weights, I think it's leg day. I'll definitely be getting a leg day in there somewhere, but I do have some plans to meet a friend of mine, an old school friend I haven't seen in years, and he's actually got a baby now. Don't we all have bloody babies now? But he's got one, which is crazy because I could never imagine him being a father, but I'm, I'm about to go and experience it firsthand, see how he's doing. So we'll get all this shit done, head out, do that. But first of all, I'm gonna make myself a coffee. And it's not gonna be a vanilla chiller, it's just a regular, everyday, homemade, instant coffee. So today's Friday, it's gonna be a great day. I hope all of you guys are having a great day. Let's do this shit. So we've got a black coffee, which I don't normally have, been having those bloody Gloria Jeans ones, but at home it's just black coffee and sweetener, straight to the head, feels good. First thing we're cooking, salmon, cannot wait to cook to cut this open, so that's what we're going to do now.
Probably need a bigger board, eh? Fuck yeah. Oh, mate. Like a dream. Like a dream. Oh, yeah. That's right. Guys, chicken's nearly done. Once that is, I'll put it in there, close them up for later on. Got a little bit of a uh, Grant Cardone in the background, teaching me what to do with my money. Uh, All right, so we just arrived at Anytime Fitness. I've got all that food packed up at home, all ready to go. I'm gonna smash, I haven't heard from my mate yet with, with his kid. Maybe he's too busy, so in the meantime, I'm gonna smash out a leg session. Haven't trained them for five days. They're not sore anymore, so that's good. They were sore for about three days, which means, you know, that's, that's fantastic. And eating in a surplus, which I was, uh, let's hope it went to went to some gains, or at least that's what I'm telling myself. So, anyways, I'm gonna do some legs. You know, I just buzzed out before because I uh, I just basically completely forgot about the investment property that I'm buying, and then I thought, well, yeah, the reason why I've done that is because I completely was put at ease just before I got on my flight coming here. The bank rung, said the finance is 100% approved. Um, I'd met all the conditions because originally what happened was I got a loan approved for 250,000 for a for my first investment property. I actually found one that was 291. I ended up having to put in an offer that day. I got, uh, you know, there was I had to sign a waiver to say that I know that this is my one offer. I don't get another chance to put another one in that I've got everything on the table because the property had been on on sale for about two weeks there'd been multiple offers um, and the the owner was definitely ready to accept one so the real estate agent was telling all the buyers to put in their final bid that day the day that I rung up for it and um, make it make it your best offer and so that's exactly what I did. I did it that day. It was all a bit of a rush, but I got it in and I got it for 291,000. So that means it was 41,000 more than what I'd actually been approved for, which was which was pretty stressful for a while there, but I knew I knew that I could afford it. I just needed to prove to the banks that I could afford it, which I ended up being able to do. So, yeah, the day before I came on holiday, got the call saying it's all good, all good to go. Settlement is on the 27th, and I think today is like the 15th So I've still got another 12 days still got another pay to come in my account um, and I'll definitely have enough cash cash there to uh, Pay the deposit the stamp duty and the conveyancing fees It's actually been nice not to think about it for a while been really nice not to go to work for a while so Definitely not ready to go back yet, but it's what you got to do. All good things come to an end. And we're going to hit some legs now, so I'll see you, see you guys in the next clip.